क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स I welcome you all to the chapter of microwave engineering where we have the microwave transmission lines analyze so for this analyze we have taken the help of a circuit model involved the lumped elements r l g and c corresponding to the unit length of measurements we have also derived the microwave transmission line equations for the forms of voltage and current and we have further derived the parameters as like the reflection coefficient transmission coefficient we have understood the standing wave with the help of the standing wave ratio computed next we have also moved to determine the line impedance and the line admittance and also we have made the use of graphical method that it is nothing but the smith chart to solve the problems associated with the microwave transmission lines here now it's time to continue the use of smith chart to further have some more calculations and let us address the problem of single step matching so here we start with our topic single step matching from the title the term matching is very very important the matching basically refers to that of the impedance matching so impedance matching is very very important as we talk impedance matching the term impedance that is a measurement in terms of ohms here is for the various impedances into the microwave circuit model i can say so corresponding to the input side we have a generator so the corresponding impedance we represent by capital z suffix g we have on to the right hand side with the help of microwave transmission line the supply from the generator section conveyed and delivered to that of the load so for that purpose we have the load impedance in between the generator impedance and the load impedance we have the microwave transmission line characterized by its impedance that impedance is called as characteristic impedance and is denoted as capital z suffix 0 now the matching of the impedances from the characteristic impedance to that of the load impedance gives us either the rise of standing wave or with no reflection condition here now when we have a mismatch between the characteristic impedance and the load impedance so that time the power that has been incident and has been transmitted over the transmission line is resolved into the two components that one is delivered to that of the load and one that has been reflected back the reflections are totally not desired here if we have the reflections provided that both the magnitudes of the impedances are equal to the unity values or at the maximum value we have the production of the standing wave and finally the standing wave results into the mal function of the transmitter side so the unit that transmits the power over the microwave transmission line its particular life will be decayed due to the production of standing wave so which is totally not desired so the ideal condition is that when the load impedance is matched to that of the characteristic impedance so such a line we call as flat line now when we talk about the standing wave ratio denoted by rho here so when we work with a flat line the characteristic impedance and the load impedance are perfectly matched to each other we obtain the value of standing wave ratio to be equal to unity that it means it is equal to 1 so there it is no reflection while working into the flat line here now when we talk about the frequency changes so with the changes into the frequency here the behavior of the flat line is completely non resonant so i mention a non resonant behavior of the transmission line when we have perfect matching of load impedance with that of the characteristic impedance called as the flat line here so whenever 
into the domain of transmission line we use the term matching it means that we shall be matching the load impedance to that of the characteristic impedance or directly we should have the characteristic impedance at the termination of the microwave transmission line now here the matching devices the matching devices those we shall be talking about will flatten the line here and a complete matching system can be explained with the help of a schematic diagram so in this schematic diagram we have the generator side so for the generator the supply is denoted in the voltage form v sub x g is the supply provided over the microwave transmission line here and the corresponding input impedance for the source here it is nothing but denoted by capital z sub x g here z sub x z can be pointing towards the generator in this particular fashion here and at the latter end we have the load connected here so the load impedance can be denoted as capital z sub x l here and this can also be z sub x l pointing towards the end so in between from these two nodes to these two nodes there it is the transmission line and the transmission line holds the characteristic impedance denoted by z sub x zero here so these are the pointings of characteristic impedance values z sub x zero so the connections between the generator section and that of the microwave transmission at the node points are called as matching devices here so this is the dashed line that has outlined the portion here so this is a matching device so the matching device on one hand is having the impedance z sub x z and on to the another hand it is having the impedance z sub x zero here so here we can get it to the form z sub x g asterisk here z sub x zero so these two should be matched so that the maximum efficiency of power transmission can occur from the generator section to this microwave transmission line section carrying it forward to the latter end so in the similar fashion as we have the matching between z sub x g to z sub x zero we have a matching between z sub x zero to that of z sub x l here so this can be z sub x zero this can be z sub x l with the asterisk we show for the matching purpose here and this is the matching device so this is the matching device towards the generator whereas the another matching device we have towards the load in this schematic diagram now here we start with our exact topic the topic that it was single stub matching now for the single stub matching or for overall matching purpose instead of making the open circuit condition we prefer the short circuit condition because the reason is that for obtaining the ideal type of opening circuit and for obtaining the ideal type of short circuit the short circuit is more easier that is why the preference is made to short circuiting the transmission line there now for the lossless condition if we talk so that time we shall prefer the values in terms of y sub x g is equal to y sub x zero so y sub x zero will be the admittance of characteristic type the characteristic admittance for the transmission line y sub x g it is the admittance of the generator so let us see the single stub matching with the help of a schematic diagram so in this schematic diagram we again have the generator section on to the left hand side with v sub x g the supply and z sub x g the impedance on generator side and these are the two nodes that connect the generator side to that of the microwave transmission line which at the latter end connects to that of load side here so here we have the load impedance denoted z sub x l now for example when we have r0 is equal to 50 ohm the characteristic impedance in the pure 
resistive form denoted as R sub is 0, the single stub is represented at certain location inside the entire length of the microwave transmission line. So, see here microwave transmission line extends from this point to this point and here also onto the another conductor here. So, this is the location that has been selected where a single stub has been connected here. So, when we consider this particular location to be the entire length small l here, this is the length to be 0. So, the microwave transmission line at 0 distance to small n l distance from the load side we get it distance by small d where the connection with the single stub has been made here. Whereas, instead of taking small l here, the l or l dash you can take here to show the length of the single stub here. Now, as for example, we have taken the characteristic impedance 50 ohm here, the length represented for the stub here and the corresponding Rs for this single stub is equal to 100 ohms. So, in that time, we shall be having the single stub type of the matching and finally, obtaining the load impedance is equal to 50 divided by, we have 2 plus J times in the bracket, 2 plus under root 3 here. So, now, the point where we have connected this single stub, let us denote it by 1, 1 here. We shall be further expressing the normalized value of the admittance y sub x 1, 1 in the form of y sub x s and y sub x d here corresponding to the measures of distances along the stub line and that of the original microwave transmission line. So, here we have considered that for the lossless line, we should have capital Y sub G is equal to capital Y sub X 0. The requirement to see the last schematic diagram is that capital Y sub X 1 1 should be equal to the characteristic admittance capital Y sub X 0 here. So, here capital Y sub X 1 1 is the total admittance of the line. So, this is the total admittance of the transmission line and the stub that we have shown a single stub into the schematic diagram which is looking to the right hand side of the stub position at 1-1 points there. So, now here the stub must be located at the point onto the transmission line where the real part, the real part of the admittance, admittance denoted by capital Y here. So, I just mentioned Re of Y looking towards the load should equal to the characteristic admittance capital Y0 here. So, that is the condition we have symbolically represented here. A y sub x 1 1 should be equal to capital Y sub x 0. Now, the representations into the normalized form can be there by the equation where we have y sub x 1 1 is equal to with the two components as shown in the schematic diagram over the line of microwave, microwave transmission line. We have a distance from the load side denoted by small d here. So, it will be the component y sub x d. It will be having plus minus relationship with the stub line length here. So, it is y sub x s here. So, this should be equal to 1 here. So, this is the one equation with respect to the single stub line matching here. In the generalized case, we can denote capital y sub x 1 1 will be equal to capital y sub x d plus minus capital y sub x s is equal to capital y sub x 0 given by equation number 2. So, that is the characteristic admittance here. Now, when we talk about the stub length, the stub length is adjusted by the matching process so that the susceptance for the normalized case that we denote by small b or in general 
by capital B just cancels out the susceptance that has been offered by the transmission line at the junction point. The junction point into the schematic diagram is at 1-1 point here. So this was all with respect to the single stub matching here. By the next lecture, we shall be having a practice of simple problem. So problem based on single stub matching with the help of Smith chart, we shall be proceeding in this chapter. So for more information and the details of the subject microwave engineering, you can subscribe to Ikeda channel. Thank you.